Hi all, my name's Bella and I'm the creator behind Craft by Bella Store. Today I'm coming to you with the first episode of the Craft by Bella podcast. Um, it's mostly just going to be some works in progress and some finished objects. I've also got a little bit of spinning and one incoming goodie, so I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start off with some finished objects. My first finished object is this chunky seed stitch cow. This is one of my patterns that I haven't written up yet, but I'll get around to it at some point. So I've made this one using a 6.5mm hook, and the yarn I used was Motivera in the Florentine collection. And I'm really happy with how this one's turned out. And my next finished object is a shanty beanie. I made this one using a 4.5mm hook and some hand spun from a local market I was at. And just pretty happy with how the colours played together on this one. Yeah, so the hand spun is pure wool at the top here, and this is a wool silk blend. So next up I've got some works in progress. So my first one is in a bag that I got last weekend at Fiber Feast SA from The Seventh Girl. And in here I have another shanty hat. Um, again, I'm using a 4.5mm hook and some hand spun. So I'm using the leftovers from the last hat as well as this white I had sitting around to pretty much make a striped hat. So I'm still on the increase rounds. I only started this last night. But that's my other shanty hat I'm working on at the moment. And then next up I have a project in this bag which I got from another market that I attend. And it's the basic crochet socks with heel flap. So I'm working this project with a three point, oh no, no, I'm working in a three millimeter hook and yarn from Shiloh Wool in the color Ridgewater Blue. And this is sock. I'm still on the first one. I'm just working on the gusset decreases right now, so I've turned the heel. And I really love how this colorway is working up really happy with it. And here's the rest of my yarn. So that's probably my highest focus project at the moment. And the next stop I actually have a knit project. So this, this is definitely a long term project. Um, but I'm working on a patchwork jumper, so I'm using, hang on, let me check. Two point seven five millimeter needles, and I'm using mini skeins from Fiki Brown Designs Mini Skein Club to make this. So I've finished one patch and I'm working on the second one. So this is the first patch that I finished. It's just stock and at stitch. And the colorway I'm currently working with is Furnace. Oh, okay, doesn't want to focus, that's fine. Um, in the sock base and I'm currently working on second patch in this colorway. 
So I'm just a little bit into that. There's my ball. And after I finish this patch, I'm actually going to put this one aside to work on a crochet patchwork jumper too. And I'm hoping to work through my massive stash of mini skeins that I've got from the mini skein club. I order the random ones. And I just find the yarn gorgeous and wanted to do something really pretty that showed off the yarn. So I chose Socknet Stitch for this project. And then my last work in progress that is getting work on it at the moment is the Beginner's Fishman Rib Knit Scarf. And I'm working this out of Karen Swirl Cakes in the colorway Gold Fusion. And I've nearly finished my first ball. So I'm not going to be able to get this all on screen. But I've gone through two colour repeats and I'm thinking I'm probably going to need one more so I've got a second ball I can work from. But the fade is just really gorgeous from this yarn. And I'm really enjoying this project. So those are my works in progress. I've also got two finished spins to show you. So the first spin is from a Veda Blue art bat which was hand carded merino and eerie silk. It was a 20 gram bat and again the camera doesn't want to focus that's fine. Um, and this is how the spin came out. So I did a two ply, pretty simple. And I'll probably pair this with some mini skeins before I put it in my shop. Um, but the colours came out really nicely through the spin. And then my other finished spin is from a wool roving. I didn't have any details when I purchased it, I just had a wool roving. And it's this gorgeous burgundy colour with some blue undertones. Uh, again, it's a two ply. It's about 50 grams in weight. I've also got a spin on the go at the moment. I'm halfway through it. So I've got one of the singles spun up. And that's a roving from the Hand Spinners and Weavers Guild in Adelaide. And I'm hoping to finish that soonish. And then I also have an incoming goodie, so I've just filmed a video on it, but I thought I'd briefly touch on it. I've just received an everyday sock sampler from Down Under Dyer. Um, here are the colours. Also came with a stitch marker. I'm just on a bit of a mini skiing kick at the moment, so. When these came up in her last update, I grabbed them. So I thought I'd go through some shop news with you all. I had an update in my Etsy store today, and I thought I'd show you some of the things that I've just put up. So on my 8-ply cotton base, we've got dandelions and puffs, and kelpie. On my four ply superwash base, we have Streets, which is a speckled and then over dyed colorway. And then we have a few skeins of Sunrays. Berry picking. And an oopsies batch of seagrass. And then on my 8 ply wool base we have seagrass.
silent afternoon. Bonfire. That's my cat. Berry picking. Sun rays. Mango Tango. And Stormy Skies. And then I've also got two hand spun that I've hand dyed after I spun them. So we've got a two ply on a 70% superwash merino, 30% nylon in the colorway seagrass, which is 97 grams. And we have another two ply on the 70% superwash, 30% nylon and the colorway mango tango and this one's 91 grams sorry i just went and let the cat out um i also wanted to mention that i've just bought in a sock base in the shop and that sold really well for my first round of dyeing on it and i'll hopefully be restocking that soon um because it has been really popular i've got a cone of it down there that i just have to hang up before i can dye um, my upcoming markets in July are the Milo Market on the 4th, the Oak Bank Market on the 10th, and Yankalilla Market on the 17th. So hopefully I'll see you there if you can make it. Thanks for watching my first podcast. All the show notes will be down in the description box below. Um, I'm hoping to film one of these about once a month, but we'll see how I go because I've got school and all that around all my fibre related crafting. So thanks for watching. All my social media will be linked down below as well as any shops I've mentioned. Um, and I hope you enjoyed.